Winning Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday, uh, August 22nd. We are moving right along, moving right along. Uh, we got a rainy day today, so it's between the raindrops, but I wanted just to get out here and just to give you uh, just a few words of encouragement this morning. Uh, just, Father God, I just thank you. Thank you, Father God, for allowing me to wake up yet another day uh, clothed and in my right mind. No aches, pains, no mumbling or grumbling, but full of praise and thanksgiving. Thank you for being an awesome God, a holy God, a righteous God, being my provider, my Je Jehovah Jireh, my Jehovah Rapha, my Jehovah Nisi, for you are indeed so worthy, so worthy to be praised. And I give you all honor, glory, and praise this morning. So this morning, just uh, wanted to share with you, I do have um, words of a daily inspiration that, uh, you know, that I had been reading uh, time and time just over the years. And I had just wanted to share it with you. I'm just going to stop this morning because it was just said, seek my face at the beginning of your day. This practice enables you to put me on and to wear me throughout the day. Most people uh, put on clothes. Um, soon as rising from bed, bread bed, excuse me. Similarly, um, the sooner you put me on or by communicating with me, the better prepared you are for whatever comes your way. To wear me is essentially to have my mind, to think my thoughts. Ask the Holy Spirit to control your thinking. Be transformed by the renewal within you. Thus, you are well equipped to face whatever people and situations I bring your way. Clothing your mind in me is your best preparation for each day. This discipline brings joy and peace to you and those around you. And that was just taking, that was a combination of Psalms 27, 8, Romans 13, 14, and Colossians 13, 12. So we have to clothe ourselves in Jesus. Let's close ourselves in Him, close ourselves with Him, put Him on first just to wear Him each and every day before we put our clothes on. Just put Him on. We just have to, uh, you know, just like we put a pair of pants on or put our skirts on, our blouses on, put on the cloak of Jesus. Put him on, wear him throughout the day, because then as long as we do that, he better prepares us. He equips us to face whatever challenges, to face whatever obstacles, whatever situations we in fact um, do go in or encounter throughout the day. So the Holy Spirit will just be over us and guide us. So, okay, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, so just be cloaked in the arms of Jesus and just in his right mind. Okay, so God bless you. So again, this brand new day, it's a nice, cool morning here. Um, you know, we are between the raindrops. It was raining earlier, so... Um, so I'm just out here now just trying to get it in, trying to get it all done before. But I just love this time of year. Um, you know, you witness the seasons changing. And that's one of the things that I miss uh, so much about being home, about being in Jersey. is just witnessing the changing of the seasons, how it just starts to get cooler. You know, just automatically when September rolls around. The coolness in the air and so forth and uh, just this morning thank God here in in Georgia so we're just having a nice cool morning even though the days are yet still hot um, it's just nice to take advantage of this coolness of the morning breeze so God bless you today is a brand new day August 22nd as I said happy birthday to somebody out there because I know each and every day that somebody people all around the world are celebrating birthdays today so we just want to say happy birthday God bless you and thank God for yet another day of life so you know of course I'm always encouraging you just to contact me just to become a part of our 3033 movement um, you know so here we are on day 22 of our 30 day reset challenge with our 3033 uh, products from total life changes where you are to just um, 
where you are spending 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes of activity for 30 days with three fantastic products from Total Life Changes. So, you know, it's typically the three products that we that we're using on this challenge our is our detox tea, you know, which removes all parasites and parasites and toxins from your body. It's all parasites and toxins from your body. And then we just go on and we do have the, um, you know, our liquid multivitamin, the Nutriburst, 72 minerals, 19 amino acids, 22 phytonutrients. One tablespoon, y'all, I tell you, it makes a difference. One tablespoon is giving you all the nutrients that you need. It's equivalent to eating 10 green salads. And our energy, our natural raw energy capsules, those give you the mental clarity. They give you the pick-me-up that you need. Those That is to replace those uh, monster drink with those monster drinks and those five-hour energy drinks do, which are like just drinking gasoline and so forth. And this is just a natural, gives you a natural pick-me-up as well as it keeps your mind clear and and they are it, it releases serotonin into your into your bloodstream into your brain and just um, triggers your happy cells so you feel good and you feel happy in the process so those products I tell you if you're looking to lose uh, weight if you want to lose five pounds in five days I can show you how but better yet not only showing you how to do that just to get you on track to better health just better health for yourself you know you've been spinning around you've been for years just doing things and just settling just settling with what the doctor is saying and giving you and so of course I always want you to listen to your doctor while you can but you know, you need to do something different because you see all that you've been doing with the doctor. It's just been, you've been coping. So, but let's change that. I want to encourage you to make a total life change. And I can help you do that with the products, the wonderful products we have over here at Total Life Changes. So it definitely does make a difference. So always start your morning in prayer, followed by your affirmations. And so your affirmations, whether or not you're doing one specific affirmation that you want to focus on for either the week or the month, do it. Do it. Put it out there. Say it. You have to take time to yourself. Listen to yourself. See what it is you want. And then start speaking it. Writing it down. Believing in it. And so forth. So, you know, you can have one or you can have many. But you need to start writing them down. You need to start saying it. So you can play it on your um, voice recorder and just listen to it throughout the day. Just every now and then. Just go back and listen through to it through Throughout the day okay so just remember always to reach out and touch someone because there is someone that is waiting just for you that needs your help that needs your help in an unassuming way so we don't know whose lives we can touch by a simple act of kindness and so it's always important for us just to spread the love of Jesus just to um, just to be willing to always, always seek a God opportunity. We have so many God opportunities to evangelize in a non-assuming way, but just sharing the love of our Lord and Savior with someone else. We have to care for one another. Okay, so God bless you. Your affirmations, let's start with mine. I am a child of God. I am the hands of hope. I am created for greatness. I am a leader. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I am protected by God. I am happy. I am faithful. I am trusting. I am believing. I am all that I am through Christ that strengthens me. I am living the fullness of life and all that God has for me and my family. I am created for greatness. I am a champion. I am a money magnet. I am a believer. I am faithful. I am trusting. I am encouraged. I am inspired. I am determined. I am committed. I am a child of God. So recite those affirmations. Speak them. I am successful. So say them. I am loving. I, I am 
dependable. So say, state those affirmations, whatever is applicable to, in your life, whatever it is that you want. Say them each and every day. Believe in them. Write them down, as I said. Put them on your wall. Put them on your mirror. Put them on your refrigerator. Everywhere that you can. Put them. Put them in your heart. Always have them in your heart. Have them on your mind. So God bless you. I pray that you have an amazing, an awesome, a wonderful winning Wednesday. Remember, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed. Have a great day. Hey, Monica, how you doing? God bless you. You know, I couldn't see the other day. I very rarely see without, without my glasses when I'm looking at stuff. But God bless you. I hope that you have a great and amazing day. Um, you take care of yourself, okay? God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow. God willing. Take care.